Why are you single? Severe lack of even trying. Because I hate myself and people can tell. There is no overlap in the people I want a relationship with and the people that want a relationship with me. Because I am, leave me alone mum. Looks, introvert and social anxiety. My brain broke, then my heart broke and now I choose to stay single until I have fixed myself. I work too much and move every six months. Also I have a goblin face. I've made absolutely zero effort to date for years now. Also not sure if I even want to. Edit. Spelling. I was married once. He turned out to be a verbally and physically abusive. Cheating heroin addict. I had two sweet daughters with the man and finally decided for the health and safety of my children. And I. I had to leave. I've met some genuinely great men. And then some truly rotten ones. I just really never fell in love after that. Emotionally closed off. Low self-esteem. Overweight. And work 80 hours per week. Have not looked for anyone and don't want to. It's easier. I enjoy being single enough that I will not. Settle. For somebody I'm not all that into. Like I've seen most people in my life do. Pairing up just out of fear they can't do any better. And going through the motions of marriage and kids together. That sort of life looks like a living hell. It's like giving up. I don't know how to start with a girl. Not ready for a relationship just yet. Still unloading baggage from the last one. I'm a league player. I'm a pretty broken person. Can't ask someone else to fix me. I've had three relationships since my divorce five years ago. The first woman was HIV plus and didn't tell me. I tested negative. The second was still obsessed with her ex-husband who'd left her for a younger woman eight years. Previously and used to drive past his house at night to see if his car was there. The third decided she was a born-again Christian after years of partying and casual sex and was adamant that we would have to get married if we were to have sex. She still expected me to act like her boyfriend in every other respect. However, I'm taking a break from it for a while. Found out my ex-BF. 25. Was prostituting himself to men. Never knew he was bi. He was also a big homophobe which was interesting thinking face. Edit. He made plenty of money it was pure pleasure he would suck off a 60 years old man for $40 vial. Scariest person I ever met in my life. My issue is not that he was gay it was that he was cheating and exposing me to all kinds of things. Without a care in the world. Be who you are don't use people. Dick too big. Might kill someone. Just sick of other people's bullshit. Being alone means I only have my own bullshit to contend with. Don't wanna sounds morbid. But past five years with multiple deaths throughout the family. I just kept on. Living. And I've always wanted a relationship. This year I have made myself available and willing to talk and put myself out there. But another setback was when my dog passed away two weeks ago. I just feel like when I'm ready to move on something happens. Social anxiety. I just can't get out and meet people. Aromantic. The right woman hasn't come along yet. Don't want to be in a relationship. I don't want to be in a relationship. No social life. Also working on myself. If I don't live up to what I want in someone else then I shouldn't expect them to settle for me. Too lazy to date lol. Complete recluse plus not very aesthetically pleasing plus pretty shitty outlook on things plus don't really. Like talking about feelings and shit. It's fun. Why not? Loudly crying. I find a friendship to be too much work. Let alone a whole relationship. Not everyone has the same needs and I'm satisfied as is. Stopped dating a decade ago. At first I didn't want to be single. 
Now I can't stand the thought of not being single. I listen to all my friends complain about their relationships. And I never have to deal with that. I've accepted I'll end up alone forever. And I'm okay with it. Because I have never dated anyone. Would like to but I hardly meet enough new people. In my teens. Didn't really pursue relationships and to be honest. Not many women came after and those that did. I had reasons to suspect they weren't really interested. I wasn't very popular or well liked in any of the groups I was forced into through school. Church. Etc. In my 20s. I was more concerned about finishing my education and getting my career on track. When I tried in my 30s. Found out the hard way that not having any relationship experience was a serious albatross that created a vicious cycle of not being able to get into a relationship because I never had one and never had one because I couldn't get into one. Now I'm turning 46 in a month and half or so and I just don't bother anymore. Truth of the matter is, I've always been a bit of a loner anyway. Because it's difficult to find a lot of people who truly accept me, much less want to date me. Because I am not in a relationship. I'm too scared to initiate romantic relationships in any way. Probably because of my body image issues. Unconditional freedom. I don't know man. I just want to give my love to someone. I don't even want to have sex anymore. I just want to hold and cuddle a girl. I've been on Tinder and Bumble for a week now and in total three matches. I just don't understand dude. 